Good evening and welcome to tonight's online lecture entitled Ekiben Railway Bento, Journey to Local Taste. My name is Yasuko Uchida and I am the director of the Japan Foundation Los Angeles. Firstly, please let me explain a little bit about the Japan Foundation. The Japan Foundation is Japan's only institution dedicated to carrying out international cultural exchange programs throughout the world with the objective of deepening mutual understanding between the people of Japan and other countries' regions. Our various activities create opportunities for people-to-people -people interactions. The Japan Foundation Los Angeles was established in 1983 and it will be our 40th anniversary next year. Our activities have two main focuses. The first focus is to promote and support Japanese language education in the US. The second one is to present art and cultural exchange programs in the 13 states west of the Rockies, including Alaska and Hawaii. Now we are presenting the exhibition Images of Railroad Culture in Modern Japan, which shows various woodblock wood prints and objects related to Japanese railroad culture from the Meiji period and after. It will run through to the end of October. If you have not yet had a chance to view the exhibition, please drop by JFLA before it closes. As part of our related lecture series, we have already presented a curator's talk by Professor Kendall Brown of California State University, Long Beach, as well as a talk by Mr. John Tedford, who has dedicated himself as a consultant to rail travel in Japan since 1979. This time, we are very happy and fortunate to present an online lecture about the very unique Japanese railway station box meal culture, which must entice you to travel to Japan as soon as possible once you hear more about it. As you may already know, just last week, starting from October 11, Japan has opened its borders and made it so that pre-departure visas for US citizens are no longer necessary for the first time in two and a half years since the pandemic began. So it is indeed a timely event. For this event, we have warmly collaborated with JNTO, the Japan National Tourism Organization, with support from JR East. After my speech, Mr. Kaoru Shoji, Executive Director of JNTO, will say a few welcoming words to you. Now, I would like to introduce you all today's lecturer, Ms. Shinobu Kobayashi, who is a renowned travel journalist and called Queen of Ekiben in Japan. She is said to have been said, ha, said to have eaten about 5,000 egg events in 30 years. Ms. Kobayashi will begin with what egg event is and show you local characteristics of various egg events. At the end, you will enjoy several quizzes. The pre presentation will be about one hour with the translation by Ms. Saki McCarthy. There will also be a 15 minutes Q&A session afterwards. After Kobayashi-san's lecture, Ms. Kai Allen, communication manager of JNTO, will introduce the latest travel information to Japan, which will include some Ekiben info for about 15 minutes. Lastly, we are very sorry that we are not able to provide you real Ekiben today. So please visit Japan. Take a train and experience a real Ekiben for yourself. It is the best timing for you, not only as Japan has opened its border again, but also as the Japanese yen is weak right now. 
Thank you very much for attending tonight and please enjoy yourselves to the end. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kaoru Shoji, the Executive Director of JNT of Los Angeles Office. Thank you for joining us tonight for this event seminar co-hosted by Japan Foundation and JNT. This year marks the 150th anniversary of the establishment of railroads in Japan. And the Ekiben we introduced today have also been a part of Japanese culture for 150 years as a fun way to enjoy travel in Japan. And if you come across an Ekiben you'd like to try today, I highly recommend you visit that location. And Gentio will always be happy to assist with the information you may need for your future trip to Japan. And today, my wonderful colleague Kay Allen will present the terms of Japanese rail travel. And we hope that today's seminar will stimulate your appetite as well as your desire to travel. So I hope you enjoy this seminar. Thank you. こんばんは。小林忍です。今回は日本の旅行文化、食文化の中でも特に日本ならではのエキベン文化について海外の皆様にご紹介したいと思います。エキベンは日本の鉄道が敷かれた頃から少しして1895年に始まりました。4000種類
。であの右はあの駅弁のマークなんですね。これあの駅弁にはこのマークがついてることが多くて、えー、と上に駅弁って書いてあるんですけどこの赤い丸は梅干しを表してます。で駅弁っていう漢字はあのおかずで右の横文字の駅弁は白いご飯にごまが振ってある感じを表しています。So, this, the right hand side, that is the icon of Eki Ben. So, you will see this at all these stations. And lower、uh, left hand corner, there is a, a red circle that is showing umeboshi, which is a, a pickled plum. And the、uh, upper part that says Eki Ben in kanji, those are supposed to be the main dish. Uh, dishes on top of the rice and ekiben that's written in、uh, Roman characters on the right lower side. That is like、um, black sesame seeds on top of rice. So now I would like to,、uh, I would like to show you which,、uh, all these different kinds of ekiben. あのまず駅弁はあの日本の地域によってあの特徴がそれぞれありましてまず東日本の駅弁について紹介しますと赤くて酸っぱくてそぼろ系の駅弁が多いですこの3種赤い酸っぱいそぼろこれが特徴です。So... Uh, ekiben is,、uh, there are so many different kinds of ekiben, and they are、uh, different re from region to region, of course. And、uh, Eastern Japan, the、uh, uh, characteristics of ekiben there would be red, sour, or soboro style. あのマスが見てください、この綺麗ですよね、綺麗にあの大きさも、そ大きさもあの厚さも同じマスが、あの上にのロッカー乗ってるんですけど、これは自分であの四角いの自,自分であのきナイフがついてるのであの、もちろんプラスチックのナイフですが、自分で切って食べるスタイルですね。Isn't it beautiful? Just the bright orange, it's representing red color. And the sizes and the thickness of the、um, masu, masu is trout,、uh, is all uniformed. And they're sort of like squarey, like、uh, rectangular. And you would, it comes with a little knife, it's plastic knife. And you would cut it in the size that you would like to put in your mouth and enjoy it. これの特徴はまたす,あのすごいのが、包み紙っていうかですね、それが竹の皮でできてるんですね。竹の皮、本当の本物の竹,竹の皮で、その上にあの笹を敷いてるんですね。だからあのもう全部燃えるゴミ、エコ的にもエコ弁でもあります。で、あの周りの上にます寿司っていう竹紙っていうんですけど、クルネルの紙ですので、全部あの燃えるゴミになります。So it's wrapped. In、uh, the, the real bamboo skin,、uh, a layer is a bamboo skin, and inside is bamboo、uh, leaves. So it's really eco oriented. And of course, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the outer layer has masuzushi written on it, and it's paper. So everything、uh, is flammable, and it's really good for the,、uh, um, the environment. I know. ご飯の間に湯葉が生湯葉が挟んであるんですね。湯葉っていうのは大豆で作ったあの食品なんですけど、こういう珍しいものも特徴です。So in between the layers of the rice, you would see 生湯葉 It's raw yuba, which is sort of like a, a raw tofu,、uh, or tofu like it's made of soy. It's really、uh, rare to find stuff like this. はい、次行きます。Okay,
So on the left hand side, you would see still see red. It's a uh, red colored rice. Um, so this is a crab meshi, crab rice from Oshamambe station. And it's got crab on it, crab in it, and also bamboo shoots. And shiitake mushroom is like there are three like sliced shiitake mushrooms on top of the rice. And it's kind of representing the legs of the, uh, the crabs. It's sort of a, a fun way to represent it's a kani uh, crab meshi, crab rice. <laughs> さけで右側やはりカニですね。あのこちらも綺麗な色合いが綺麗ですし、こうあの俵が俵型って言うんですけど、こう一つずつご飯が俵型になってるの食べやすいです。So uh, on the right hand side, upper one is uh Ishikari Sushi, New Chitose Airport, and the lower one is Masu Sushi uh, that we kind of saw the squarey one, the rectangular one before. So it's bright red, both of them are bright red. And the upper one is uh, shaped so that they're sort of like barrels, uh, which makes it easier for people to eat. So, masu no sushi, to, uh, the lower right one, it's trout and it's also uh, wrapped in uh, uh, bamboo uh, bamboo leaves. So, it's really, it really uh, brings up the brightness of the red. これはあの、2つとも東京駅の駅弁なので、あの、ぜひ召し上がってほしいんですが、左はあの、マグロイクラ弁当、まさにマグロとイクラが乗ってご飯の上に乗ってまして、あの、本わさびが添えられていますね。
ふたずしといいましてあの青森県の八戸の名物なんですがこれはあの面白いのは大ぶりの実が乗ってるんですけどこの上に乗ってる白いのは。バチ三味線のバチなんですねで形も容器も三味線の形をしてこれがよあの切るのナイフがバチになってましてこのバチで切って食べるというものです。So the left hand side it's from Hachi no He in Aomori Prefecture it's called Kotas Zushi and、um, it's like a so the blue black fish Well, in Japanese, it's called, we, we call it hikari mono, but it's a blue back fish such as mackerel and sardine. These are、um, easy to spoil. So they are、uh, marinated in stronger vinegar and、uh, try to preserve, be able to preserve those a lot better. And、uh, the le left hand side, you would see that、uh, bachi from shamisen. It's the one that、uh, sort of like the, when you play the shamisen guitar,、uh, Japanese guitar, you have the bachi on your right hand.、Um, Right hand, and you play the guitar. So, with that, you would cut in pieces、uh, however you'd like and eat that,、um, eat the chunk. The Migi is, yeah, the Migi is, 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 So, on the right hand side, you see、um, aji, that's a, a Spanish mackerel, and on top of rice. And you see that, that this is also、uh, blue black fish, so it's very sour. And it's, this is from、uh, Ofuna Station in Kanagawa Prefecture. Hi, t s me. Hi, Tsugi, so b o r o って言うんですけど、あのそぼろ系ですね。で、肉と魚のそぼろがありまして、えっ、ー、と左はまあ、あの山形県米沢駅の牛のそぼろで真ん中はえっ、ー、と千葉県の千葉市のですね。千葉駅の、えー、菜の花弁当と言いまして、これはあの菜の花を表してですね。黄色い卵のそぼろと。お肉のそぼろで菜の花畑、土と菜の花を表してますね。で、右は、えー、と小田原のタイムして、これはタイをの実をそぼろにしたものです。So,、uh, these are そぼろ type of bento. And the left hand side you see、uh, from Yonezawa Station in Yamagata Prefecture, a lot of uh, uh, beef on top of rice. And そぼろ is like a minced. And seasoned meat of fish or、uh, meat. So that one is with the meat. And in the middle, you see、um, from Chiba Prefecture, a Chiba station in Chiba Prefecture, Nanohana Bento. Nanohana is、um, rape blossoms. So this one is like that、uh, the beef part is sort of like soil, and the upper part, that、uh, yellow part, that's made out of、uh, scrambled eggs. And that's Sort of like、uh, the color of Nanohana, the rape blossoms. And the right side, Tai Meshi, this is a sea brim.、Uh, in US, I think we, we know sea brim more of, as a red snapper, s but this is with a red snapper. So it's a minced red snapper on top of rice. And this is from Odawara Station. Next, I'm going to ask you. はい、そして、えー、と東日本の中で特にまた北海道は海鮮,海鮮系がたくさん揃っているのでそれをご紹介します。Okay. 北海道は、well known for seafood。So I'm going to show you what the 駅弁 looks like in 北海道。はい、次、どうぞ。次、お願いします。Next, please. はい、で北海道はですね、この北海道で取れる主な海産物ですね。カニとニシンとカキとイカのそれぞれ代表なものを積みました。左は札幌でカニの食べ比べなんですね。ズワイガニとケガニとタラバガニのそれぞれ3種類。見た目は似てますけど、味は全然違います。好みがあると思いますが、美味しいです。で、so, um, 
in Hokkaido, Hokkaido is really well known for crabs, uh, herring, oyster, squid, and the far left side, Kani Sanshu Aji Kurabe from Sapporo Station, there are three different kinds of crabs on top uh, uh, with the rice. So the left one is snow crab, and the uh, the middle one is hair crab, and the um, I'm sorry, I think it was king crab and then hairy crab and then snow crab. So they are all crabs, crabs, but they taste different. So these are sort of like samplers. で、あの、上は西、で、これは西の親子弁当になってまして、西の魚とその子供である数の子が乗ってますね。で、これもあの、とっても数の子が柔らかくて美味しい函館名物なので、ぜひ食べてください。so the middle one is a uh, herring, uh, parent and child sort of uh, bento. It has the fish herring and also it's raw, fish raw, herring raw, kazunoko, and they're just so delicious. So I would love for you to try them. で、で、右のイカメシはあの、ご存知の方も多いと思うんですが、日本を代表する駅弁の一つで、これももうあの、70年、80年ぐらいは売ってるんですか。小さいイカにご飯を詰めて煮込んだものですね。そう、あの、イカメ
紐を引くと温まるあのものなんですね。発熱体がついてまして、えー、紐を引っ張って温ま,温まってほかほかが食べられる液弁です。そういうのもあります。So, the upper part of the right side, you see、uh, Shiretoko Tori Meshi from Sapporo Station. Shiretoko is well known for their Shiretoko chicken, and they, uh, uh, it's、um, uh, amakara, so it's a, a kind of、um, uh, salty and sweet grilled. And the lower side is from Obihiro Station, it's a pork. Donburi pork ball. And what's amazing is that you see a little string sticking out from the bottom of this、uh, bento box. You pull it and the container gets heated up. So you can enjoy the warmed up、uh, pork donburi. Okay, next, I'll do it. This is the Hokkaido. あ私が好きな駅弁です。で、ボコイという駅にあるんですが、なんとボコイっていうのは駅員さんがいないんですね。無人駅なんです。だけれども、駅弁の売店だけがあるというですね、あのー、すごい不思議なお弁当で、これはあのー、一つ、お箸がなくて、一つずつあのラップにつるん包んであって、そのまま好きなものを食べるという形式で、ホッキのおにぎりですね。ホッキを、ホッキを、あのー、炊き込んだおにぎりです。So,、uh, this is a very incredible, and this is one of my very, very favorite bento.、Uh, it's at Bokoi Station in Hokkaido, and this is called Bokoi Meshi. And what's amazing is that this station has no attendants, no staff in there. So, there is just a bento shop and no people working there. And、um, no chapsticks. So, what you do is just you unwrap the wrapping and eat it with a hand.、Um, And it's got a、uh, uh, surf clam in there. Just delicious. Hi, Hi Dozo. Dozo, Tsugi. Hi. Tsugi wa Tohoku area desu ne. Hi, o n e g a s h i m a s Okay, next is a Tohoku area. It's a, a northeast area of Japan. Tohoku wa Oniku ga Jujitsu shite mashite. この3つもですね、これはあの左は秋田駅の和牛小町、和牛を使った和牛国産牛を乗せたあの甘辛いお弁当ですね。で、真ん中は米沢の栄太郎、これはあの綺麗で、やっぱりあの色目を大事にした和牛の,あの煮たのが入ってます。で、右が一番面白いのが五所川原っていう青森なんですけれども、これは焼肉だらけという、焼肉だらけなんですね。本当に豚と鶏と牛の3種類の焼肉が食べられるという、もうがっちり食べたい人におすすめの駅弁です。So this is Tohoku region. Tohoku is known for meat, beef, and、uh, other meats. And、uh, the left hand side is Wagyu Komachi from Akita. Lots of beef, and it's、uh, cooked. Uh, with soy sauce and、uh, sugar, it's really delicious. And in,、uh, the middle one is a taro from Yonezawa Station, and they really value the presentation. So you can see it's really colorful. And the right hand side, yakiniku darake. Darake is like so much or full of. So it's a lot of meat on there. And you can enjoy、uh, all pork, chicken, and beef all at once on that one. しま次お願いします。はい。Okay, じゃあ次は関東,関東地方のいろいろな駅弁をご紹介します。Now, it's a これはですね、すごいあの千葉県の阿波鴨川駅なんですが、これは豪華な弁当で、あの伊勢海老、波の伊八弁当というんですが、伊勢海老をですね、縦に真っ二つに切って、それを伊勢海老ごとご飯の上にかぶせてあの炊き込んでるんですね。だからもう伊勢海老のエキスがたっぷりご飯に染み込んでます。で、右側はタコ飯ですね。タコを炊き込んでますね。で、まあ、伊八っていうのはいろいろあの、あの、伊八さんっていう方がいらっしゃって、で、伊は伊勢海老の伊で、八はタコの八本足の八なんですが、お願いします。<笑> Okay, so this one is a、uh, Nami no Ihachi Bento、uh, from Awa Kamogawa 
uh, uh, station in Kanto area. And this one is from Chiba Prefecture. It's just gorgeous. And it's with Isebi Japanese lobster. So when they cook the rice, they actually put the uh, Isebi, the lobster, inside that uh, cooker, rice cooker. So the whole entire rice has absorbed all the, um, the broth from the Ise uh, lobster. So it's just, just so uh, delicious. And the right-hand side is octopus rice. And uh, um, this Ihachi-san, Ihachi is the name of this uh, carving artist. And he says I, and then Hachi is from Ihachi-san's I, Hachi. Ihachi, it's, um, that's why it's, uh, it's got the Isebi and octopus has like in Japan, there's like a, some sort of, you know, because there are eight uh, legs. So I think that's, you know, a double meaning for this bento. Hey. これもちょっとあの面白いお弁当なんですが、これ so this one is very interesting. Uh, I'm sure you, you would be uh, interested in having this, but it's uh, from Kanto as well, Kanto region. It's SL Taiju Niko Masuzushi from Tobu Niko. And um, this container, looks like the train from a long time ago. And it is, the inside is from Nikko Masuzushi that I've introduced you before. It's a trout sushi. And uh, what's great is that, that uh, the server is sort of like a shovel, you know, for the coal. And also the knife is a Japanese sword. So when you go home, after you eat this in your train, you can uh, take home the container and those shovel and the knife as well. It's really a um, popular souvenir. Eh, so the left hand side you see uh, Shonan Shirasu Bento from Ofuna Station. Uh, you, 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 the white part on top of rice, that is a bunch of young sardines. Japanese people love it and it's got lots of calcium, great nutrition. It's, so it's great, you know, nutritious uh, bento. Uh, and the red part on the lower side of the rice, you see the salmon raw. So it's red and white. Uh, we, we like that, uh, those red and white, right? Red and white is like a celebra celebration color. And the right hand side, you see uh, bento in ceramics. And this is this has chicken, shiitake mushroom, and chestnut uh, on top of rice. And you can take home that uh, the bowl, and you can actually cook rice in that. So it's really useful. Yeah,右下はえっとですこれは茨城県の大洗駅なんですけども、これはあのコロナになってからできたお弁当で、要するにあのマスクをみんなするので。この小さいんですね、この人、これ手まり手まり寿司なんですけど、一口大のあのおにぎり、まあ手まり風のおにぎりがいろんな種類こう日立牛とかですね、さつまいもとかが入ってますが、これもあのマスクを外してパクっと一
lower right hand side, it's kind of unique. This one was created uh, right after Corona, the pandemic started because we all had a mask covering our face. So what we could do with this uh, bento is that you would take your mask off and then you eat this one of them, like just pop it into your mouth and eat and then you cover your mouth again. So uh, they are all like one bite size. And so they're like wrapped uh, uh, handball sushi. We call it temari sushi, handball sushi. So this became really popular uh, during the pandemics. あの、あの、いちいち回らなくてもこれ一つで全部東京の老舗の味が食べられますよというお弁当で、東京代表するお弁当だと思います。So this one represents all the uh Shinisei, the old school shops, bento shops of Tokyo. So it includes the from Imahan, which is really Asakusa Imahan is uh, famous in Tokyo and uh uokyu salmon pickled in sake leaves and uh sushi dama aoki's rolled egg omelet like all sorts of goodies on here so you just buy this one this one bento and you can taste all the deliciousness of tokyo bento hai tsuki gaishimasu えっと、塩ひがり取っ they're uh, ceramics, and uh, inside of the ceramics, they both have rice, and then on top of them, there are clams on top, and the, uh, both from Chiba Prefecture. And, you know, uh, Kanto area um, do, does have great seafood as well. So these are uh, two, uh, one of the, uh, the most popular ones. And the left one is got the screw, screws, screwed hamaguri, screwed clams. Um, it's sort of like a, um, it used to be so popular to go off to the shore, seashore, to uh, dig out all these clams. And after, right after that, people used to do the barbecuing with those clams. So that's um, representing that time. And the center one is hamaguri don without the scoops. And um, it it also has uh, uh, ami, uh, that uh, the right hand side you see a little uh, net which is sort of like decoration saying that you know you it's a uh, fishing net so it's a lot of uh, um, sea breeze coming into this uh, this air はい。これはですね、綺麗ですよね。で、あの、右側の桜をですね、あの、大根を薄く桜の形にあの、切り取って梅津でつけて、あの、この下にはチラシ寿司が乗ってるんですが、そのあのチラシ寿司の上に桜を敷き詰めて、これはあの春の春に満開桜寿司春限定で出たお弁当です。Okay, so the left left one is very unique. It's beautiful, right? So inside there is a chirashi sushi, so different kinds of uh, seafood on on top of rice, but on top of that, you see the daikon radish 
that's pink. This uh, color comes from uh, pickled plum and vinegar. And this is limited for springtime only. であの真ん中はあのー、これは生野菜が入っているので珍しいのでご紹介しましたあの小淵沢駅の高原野菜高原野菜が入ってます生野菜珍しいですね。So the、uh, middle one is a little rare to find. Not so many bento has、uh, fresh vegetables. Uh, uh, so I wanted to show you that it's 高原野菜高原、uh, vegetable、uh, from a 小淵川。右は青森県の五所川原駅でこれも珍しくて24種類の郷土料理が一口ずつ入ってるんですね。で一口だらけっていうことなんですけどもう一口ずつだらけこれも全部これ一つであの津軽の郷土料理が食べられます。So this one on the right is very unique.、Uh, there are 24 different dishes in, in there. And it's called hitokuchi darake. Hitokuchi means one bite. Darake is full of your tons of. So there are tons of one bites. And、uh, there are 24 specialties of the Tsugaru area in Aomori Prefecture. Hi, Tsugi. Hi, Jan, Nishi Nihon no Tokucho. Kimas, Korewa, Ano, Oshizushi, Tobozushi ga oi des. So, West. Western Japan,、uh, Obento has a lot of pressed sushi or、uh, rod shaped sushi, bozushi. This is in the East Japan, and the other one is the Saba, 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 the other one is the Saba. So,、um, the、uh, left hand side is sababo sushi, sabab mackerel sushi. It's wrapped in a kombu kelp. And a zen, echizen saka sasa sushi on the right hand side is from Fukui. And it's got crab,、uh, mackerel, and uh, uh, trout on top. This is the first one. イカなんですけれども、これはあのさっきの、えー、とイ,カイカ飯とあのに違うのは、向こうはイカのご飯を煮てたんですが、こちらお寿司が酢飯が入ってますね。で、酢飯を詰めてあのイカを焼いたものです。So, これは丸ごとあの食べてもいいですけど、あのこうやって一こうなんでしょうみんなで分けて食べてもいいですね。So, this one、uh, on the left, left hand side, this is also from Fukui Prefecture. And it's also a squid rice. But unlike the one before, the one before was a, a, a seasoned rice inside a squid. But this one has the sushi rice in there. So, it's delicious and you can eat the whole thing yourself or you can share it with other people. Next one, please. はい、これはあの岡山県の代表的な駅弁で、あの桃太郎の祭り寿司って言います。あの桃太郎というのはあの童話ですね。童話の主人公なんですが、あのそれ桃の形をしてるんですね。容器にで、そこにあのちらし寿司、岡山県のバラ寿司という郷土料理を駅弁にしたものです。で、あのママカリ、岡山のママカリとかサワラとか。シャコとかおかあごアナゴとか岡山の名物がたくさん載ってます。So this is、uh, pretty unique. Okayama is known for Momotaro. It's a popular hero of Japanese folklore、uh, who came out of a big peach. So the container looks like a peach. And、uh, inside is a bara sushi. It's mixed sushi with uh, uh, mountain shrimp,、uh, Japanese sardinella. Uh, Spanish mackerel and all these go goodies、uh, on top of the sushi rice. Thank you. 曲がなるんですけど、これは蓋の裏にセンサーがついてて開け
ってるとなるようになってます。だから、社内で開けたりすると皆さんびっくりしますね。Okay, so this one is a very unique, probably the most、uh, the unique bento in Japan, and it has a cow face. And、um, inside, it's beef, it's sukiyaki style beef on top of rice. And、um, when you open this lid, the lid, the back of the lid has the,、uh, the bottom of the lid has a sensor. So when it senses light, Then all of a sudden,、uh, the music comes out. It's Furusato,、um, uh, like back home.、Uh, sort of, it's really、um, nostalgic、uh, music for Japanese people. So, when you open this,、uh, when you are working at a company or something, people around you would be really, really astonished. Thank you. <laughs> まあ、あの西日本の代表的な食あの駅弁を集めました。で左上はアナゴですね。これはあのもう100年以上売られている。味も全然変わらないアナゴを並べた、えー、と美味しいあの広島の宮島口の,あのお弁当ですね。であとはあのおかか、カツオを削ったやつとか、あと右は、えーやっぱり広島の牡蠣のドテワッパという牡蠣の味噌煮を郷土料理なんですが、それを乗せた駅弁です。So、uh, this is、uh, these are from Hiroshima、uh, and uh, uh, the、uh, left hand side, Anago Meshi. Anago is a sea eel and this has been around for more than a hundred years and it's sold at Miyajima Guchi in Hiroshima Prefecture. And the flavor, everything is, has stayed the same. And the、uh, left hand side, the lower side, it's Okaka, which is a Bonito Flakes. And this is from Maibara Station. And Kaki no Dote Wappa, also from Hiroshima on the right hand side, it's a miso、uh, pasted, miso braised oysters in it. It's really delicious. Hi. これはちょっと容器の変わったのを集めてみました。で、えー、左上は西明石駅のこれタコツボ、タコを取るときにタコツボを海に沈めるんですが、そのタコツボを使って、タオ弁当の中にも入ってますね。で、左下はこれはあのエヴァンゲリオンの,あの漫画あると思うんですが、エヴァンゲリオンの,あの乗り物を、あのはい、えっ、ー、と、それを容器にしたものですね。で右はあの植木鉢です。なんと本物の植木鉢を使ってまして、あのそれで新聞紙で上にくるんでるんでね、でここにあの本物の,たあの種がおまけについてまして、で実際このこれを食べた後その種を植えて花を咲かせましょうという面白い容器、面白いのを3つ集めました。So,、um, I wanted to show you some interesting、uh, containers of the t-、uh, bento. And the left, upper left, you see、uh, takotsubo. Takotsubo is an octopus pot. So, these are、uh, representing the, t-、um, the pots that you know,、uh, the fishermen would bury, like、uh, put into the ocean to catch the octopus. And the left, lower left side, Evangelion,、uh, which is a really popular animation. And this、uh, container is, pro-、uh, is modeled after、uh, one of the t-、uh, shuttles that they have in that animation. And the right hand side, this one is very f- interesting because it's actually a plant pot, real plant pot, it's ceramics. And after you, and the,、uh, up,、um, on top of it is newspaper, and it's, it's got seeds in there. So after you eat this obento, you use this pot. And you plant the seeds and you need to、uh, have the flower blossoming. So it's sort of eco in a way. All right, so、um, now it's time for a quiz. Questions? Okay, are you all ready? So、um, if you'd like, you can write down、uh, your, on your comment、uh, the questions that you feel is the, the right answer. But、um, if you don't, you don't really need to. But It's just for fun. Okay.、Um, I'm going to read the、uh, questions. Okay. Kimen quiz number one. 
Makunouchi bento consists of three basic food items known as the three sacred treasures. The treasures are grilled fish, tamagoyaki, tamagoyaki is like an egg omelet. And what are the food items? Number one, sausage. Number two, fish cake. Number three, cooked beans. You can see the photos of those. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of mame. Uh, fish cake. Okay. Okay. All right. で、ね、ね、ね、ね、答えいきますかはい。はい。じゃあ、あの、答えはですね、これはに。え、いつの頃からか、あの、最初はわからないんですが、いつの頃、いつの頃からか3種の具材が入るようになりました。ま、あの、
Ah, oh, the reason is because beer, mm. uh, it doesn't taste that good when it's not cold. So that's why it's not sold with uh, paired with the uh, um, bento. Okay, number five. Hi, this is the last one. Number five, there are some ekiben that have noodles. Which of the following uh, type is not found in ekiben? Not found in ekiben. Number one, ramen noodle. Number two, kishimen. This is flat udon like noodle. Number three, soba, buckwheat noodles. Do, 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 do. Ah, ichigoi desu ne. Number one, a lot of number ones. <laughs> <laughs> これはですね、あの、2番です。あの、はい。あの、ラーメンは、あの、有名なラーメンの町に来た方とかですね、あの、ラーメンの作ったことがありますね。で、蕎麦も、あの、あります。蕎麦も蕎麦の産地にありますね
すごい高いものは2000円を超えるものがありますが、シムルサバーの駅弁はだいたい1000円から1500円の間です。平均すると1000円から2000円の間です。So on the average,、uh, 駅弁 is usually 1000 to 2000 yen. So right now it's like a, a $15 to んあごめんなさい。ん違うわ、逆だわ。えっ、ー、と、right now because the yen is cheaper, it's like a, a seven dollars to fourteen dollars. And、um, shimesaba should be, should have been like、um, around the same、um, amount of money, a cost, but usually like a thousand to fifteen hundred yens. So, yeah, should have been like twenty、um, dollars. Yeah, but and then、uh, there are some that h a s really special containers like SL、uh, container, the t train、uh, looking container. And uh, uh, so it depends on the t、uh, uh, container more, more or less, but、uh, usually it's a、uh, thousand to two thousand yen. s Ah, eh, t a s h i m e s a b a i k a m e s h i do you eat the outside too? あ、イカ飯のあのイカのところも食べるのかというおしご質問です。もちろんです。あのもちろんイカがメインです。Yes, of course. The、uh, actually the イカ、the the squid, the out outer layer、uh, is the main part. It's the you know when you eat it together with the inside, it's delicious.、Uh, are there any ingredients? Sorry, my eyes have not. Very good lately. Are there any ingredients or foods that are never or never or taboo to put into a kiven? Naka no, a kiven no naka ni i れてはいけないものってありますかやはりあの常温常温であの駅の売店に置くので生物を要するに刺身お刺身はなしですね基本的にさっきのマグロは漬けって醤油漬けにしてあるから大丈夫なんですけど生物はほぼありません。一つだけ,一つだけあの例外はた,たたきにして、周りを焼いてね、たたきにしたあの生魚はありますけど、あとはありません。So, we,、uh, the bento ingredients have to last、um, room temperature. So,、uh, basically, basic you know,、uh, rule is that we don't put any sashimi,、uh, the raw fish,、uh, but you saw the tuna. Uh, the raw tuna, but that one was、uh, marinated into soy sauce and so soy sauce and、uh, vinegar. So that's okay.、Um, it lasts longer than the, the just the fish itself. And so mostly uncooked, we don't really put uncooked stuff, but、um, seared fish, sometimes we put that in there, but usually not uncooked stuff like fish or vegetables.、Mm -hmm. Okay, would the seafood combo be considered to be chirashi sushi? Seafood combination to know at the end of the day, the whole kind of the shaka, eh? So, what is the chirashi sushi? Ah, no, so this, eh? Chirashi sushi mo, to chirashi sushi no, he tots this, and chirashi sushi mo, and chiki no, ten, nishi no, that to, go, and no, come back to Kisanda mono, no, set up, shima, so, Kaido, ah. あのどんどんと素,素材を大きいまま乗せてるので、まあ、チラシ寿司の一種です。Yes, チラシ寿司 has a lot of different kinds from region to region, it's different. And at、uh, West Side, some of the、uh, チラシ寿司 you would see chopped fish or chopped ingredients on top of rice. But then Hokkaido, they are、uh, northern part, they tend to put just like chunks on top of rice. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Do you have a、uh, top three ekiben to recommend out of the thousands you eat? <laughs> like, a n o t a b e t i r a s h a r i m a s g a m i t a n o s k i n a no i r a n d i t a d a k i m a s k a ichima o s k i n a So, no stimonga ichima m u z u k a s h i n d e s g a t h e hardest question to answer. <laughs> ano, jibunde produce s t a ekiben ga a r i m a s n o d e y h a r i s o r e o e r a b i t a i t o m a i m a s o n o h i r o s h i m a no kaki no. 広島駅の牡蠣のドテワッパとあとえっ、ー、とそうですね仙台駅の各駅停車というお弁当とそれからあのもう今は、えー、と売ってないんですけれども東京駅の発酵弁当発酵っていうのは発酵する
発酵する方の発酵ですね。あの発酵食品の発酵弁当。じゃあもうその、あの、買えないってことですかね。はい、もう今はないんですけど、それがベスト3。今あるのです。やっぱりさっきのぼっこいめしですね。んああ、かきめしと、うん、ぼっこいめし。ぼっこいめしですね。OK、そう。Um, I actually produced three different kinds of. Uh, 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 are, uh, uh, are you I produced、uh, several, di はい、I've, I've several different、uh, ekiben,、uh, and one of them is Hiroshima's Kaki no Dote Wappa, which is an oyster miso braised,、uh, miso braised oyster on top of rice in Hiroshima Prefecture.、Uh, and then Sendai's. 各駅停車、これは何が入ってるんですか。各駅停車はあの、えっ、ー、と、ほ、ほやってわかりますかね、ほやとか。ほやはい、あの。ほや。なす、あの、仙台長なすとかですね。うんうん、あとは、あの。焼きざ、えっ、ー、と。焼き魚ですね、か、あの、赤魚が入ってます。So,、uh, this one is Makuno Uchibento. It's one of the Makuno Uchibento from Sendai Station.、Uh, it's got Hoya. Hoya is a vegetable. Hoya. 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 And it's sort of a、uh, uh, seafood. And then naganasu,、uh, that、uh, eggplant and the red、uh, fish in it. So that、uh, those are the two that you can actually find now. And then the third one I liked was、uh, hakko bento,、uh, it, which is no longer being sold.、Uh, hakko means fermentation. And I produced that and I used to like that. And if I can't tell you the one that's not sold, then、uh, the one that's a bokoi bento、uh, that was in that uh, 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 bokoi, it's got surf clam、uh, on it from Hokkaido. Those are the three. Hi, Joho, got Konado Maruno, the key to the Krasine. Okay,、uh, please、uh, stay tuned. We have a lot more、uh, information coming up. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for that wonderful presentation. That was amazing.、Um, I actually used to live in Ibaraki, so、uh, I'm going to have to go back and try that、um, temari sushi that they started up during the pandemic. I think that'll be something really fun to look forward to. So,、um, as mentioned, my name is Kay Allen, and I'm with Japan National Tourism Organization. And we're here to give you information on travel and tourism in Japan. And with all of that amazing ekibento that you just got to see,、um, now you're going to need to、uh, take those ekibento s somewhere. So, I figured I would briefly introduce you to some、um, sightseeing trains. Kankoresha, that you can find throughout Japan, which are a great way to take your ekibento on the road, sample some unique regional flavors, and get to see the countryside of Japan all in one. So, just to give you a little bit of update,、um, and Uchida san already mentioned that as of October 11th, we've opened our borders to individual visitors. So, you're no longer required to have the pre departure visa application or to have a pre book tour or guide or anything like that. You just need to show your proof of vaccination and or a negative COVID 19 test result that you took 72 hours prior to your departure for Japan. So, we also have a lot of our routes returning.、Um, we have great airlift to Japan, and this includes not only our major international airports throughout the United States, but also places that you can connect in Japan,、um, which are not just limited to Narita International Airport, but you also have Haneda International, which puts you squarely in central Tokyo area, and also Kansai International Airport, which we get great airlift from the West Coast.、Um, so, you can also go. There and be close to places like Osaka and Kyoto. And of course, we all know that the transportation system in Japan is really comprehensive, and you have great opportunities for international visitors to take advantage of, such as the Japan Rail Pass, which gives you unlimited rides on the JR lines. 
um, which is not limited to just the bullet trains, but also includes limited express trains, local lines, buses, and even a ferry. And this is available in seven, 14, and 21 day durations. So we highly recommend taking advantage of those savings as you travel through the country. You also have opportunities to upgrade your experience on the bullet train. Um, this includes the green car, which is like a business class level experience on the bullet train um, and is widely available throughout. And also the ultra luxurious grand class, um, which you can see up at the top uh, left hand side there. And this offers the 2-1 seating, um, and it gives you great amenities like butler service, complimentary food, drinks, and alcohol. And this is available on the Hokuriku bullet train line, which takes you from Tokyo to Kanazawa, and also the Tohoku or Hokkaido bullet train line, which takes you from Tokyo through Japan's deep north and up to the southernmost tip of Hokkaido. Now, as I mentioned, there are some lovely Grand Class amenities and JR East was so gracious to share this information with us. This includes some um, sort of uh, customized bento boxes that they offer, some sweets, as well as some wine that you can sample. And you can get more information on their website, which I've listed there, and I can offer later if needed. Now we mentioned a lot of different stations that you can purchase Ekibento at, and most of them will offer something um, available in the stations to take uh, if you're gonna be boarding the bullet train. But just one example of this is gonna be Grand Sta Tokyo, which you can find at Tokyo Station at the Ekibenya Matsuri shop. And this you is where you can find over 170 different varieties of a bento from all over Japan. So this is a great place to sample some regional variations, even if you aren't going to be traveling directly to those places. Now I want to start off our travel through all of the different kankoresha or sightseeing trains in uh, Japan's northernmost prefecture of Hokkaido. This is where you can find the SL Fuyu no Shitsugen train. And this operates during the winter months of January and February. And it takes you through the uh, Kushiro wetlands. So this is a great time to uh, be in the Kushiro wetlands because you can see the migration of the beautiful Japanese red crested crane. And you can also enjoy an onboard nature guide um, that will introduce you to all of Hokkaido's different wildlife, which you can see through those really expansive observation windows. There's even a potbelly stove on board, so you can even grill and eat some local seafood um, and get a little sense of the nostalgia of um, riding on some of the older Japanese trains. And while you're in Hokkaido, you definitely want to take advantage of um, some world-class powder snow that you can enjoy skiing or snowboarding in areas like Niseko, Kiroro, Rusutsu, and Tomamu. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you might try some activities like diving below drift ice or doing a drift ice walk or see a little bit more of that nature in places like the Shiratoko Peninsula and Nemuro. Our next stop is going to take us through Tohoku. This is where you can find the resort Shirakami train. And this is going to take you through um, from Akita to Aomori along the western coast. You've got plenty of observation space where you can see through those expansive windows, the beautiful coastline. And they also have a shop on board where you can buy um, some specialty items from the Tohoku region, such as food and other souvenirs. And the fun thing about this car is that the bright colors are inspired by Tohoku's famous festivals, such as the Aomori Nebuta Festival, which you can see during the summertime in the month of August. So it's just a really fun, bright atmosphere. And while you're moving through the Tohoku region, um, you have more opportunities to come face to face with wildlife in places like Hachimantai, where you can see foxes, bears, and other animals. Or you can try your hand at a really immersive experience by training with mountain mystics that you can find in the sacred Dewa Sanzan Mountains. 
You can also connect with locals in other ways by doing things like a farm stay, which you can do in places like Odate in Akita Prefecture, or you can travel through uh, the Zao Onsen area and see some of the snow monsters, which is a phenomenon that happens when the snow packs tightly onto the trees there and you get this really beautiful snowy view. Now, our next stop is going to be Kanto. You can find the Safir Odoriko train through here, and this will take you from Tokyo to the beautiful Izu Peninsula. Um, again, you have beautiful coastline views, and this train is unique in that it um, features green car seating throughout the train. So you have a little bit more of a kind of a luxury experience. And they also have a cafe on board that serves light meals so you can eat and enjoy that beautiful scenery. Now the Kanto region, of course, is gonna give you more beautiful views of Mount Fuji, but you can also do immersive hands-on experiences like harvesting or roasting tea leaves. You can also take in some traditional art in places like Okada Museum, or you can just relax and unwind in one of Izu's many beautiful outdoor hot springs. Next, we'll travel through the Hokuriku region. Um, this is where you can find the resort view Furusato train. And this is gonna take you from Nagano to Matsumoto and beyond, where you can have some beautiful views of the Sangaku National Park. And you also have great observation windows. So you can see iconic scenery, um, such as the Hira Mountains and Nishina Three Lakes. Now, aside from the Chibusangaku National Park, where you can obviously do hiking, um, some nature trekking, you can also see some more beautiful nature settings um, in places like Jigokudani Monkey Park, where you can see the famous uh, snow monkeys in their natural habitat. You can also do some skiing or snowboarding um, in the Japan Alps in places like Hakuba Valley. Or you can take in some really important historical sites, such as Matsumoto Castle. Next, we'll be going through the Kansai region, Japan's western side. And this is where you can find the beautiful Blue Symphony train. And this features um, some kind of unique seating arrangements. You have a little bit more um, ability to travel with a large group. And this is gonna take you through Osaka um, to the Yoshino area in uh, Nara Prefecture. So you can kind of experience a little bit more of a countryside that's steeped in some ancient history. And they also have a really beautiful lounge, so you can enjoy some local specialty dishes, some sweets, and you can also sample some regional wines. And while you're in Western Japan in the Kansai region, you're definitely going to want to tr connect with traditional Japanese history and culture. Um, you can do that by visiting a tea house and sampling some matcha, or you can do a temple visit and maybe try your hand at seated Zen meditation exercises, or you can visit some important historical sites such as Osaka Castle, which as you can see is really beautiful during cherry blossom season, and also Yoshino area is is just in general very stunning during the cherry blossom season as well. Next, we're going to travel further west to the Chugoku region. This is where you can find the Maru Maru no Hanashi train. And this is going to travel through the famed Sain line so you can see Yamaguchi Prefecture and enjoy some peaceful scenery along the Sea of Japan. You can also savor some tasty onboard obento boxes um, so you can get some local flavors and this pairs exquisitely with sake um, and you're going to get some really beautiful seaside views. It's also the westernmost tip of Japan's main island of Honshu so you're in a really unique spot in the country. And while you're in the Chigoku region, you're going to want to see some important historical sites along the way, such as the Akama Jingu Shrine, Itsukushima Shrine, where you can see that iconic Tori Gate in the water there, overlooking the Seto Inland Sea. And this 
gate actually was undergoing some important restorative and preservation work the last few years. So it's been covered, but at the end of this year, they're hopefully going to be uncovering that gate. So if you visit next year, you'll be able to see it in all of its glory. Um, and a little tip is that if you go um, early in the morning, you can actually walk out during low tide and stand under the gate itself. Some other important historical sites include the King Taikyo Bridge, and if you want to get a little bit of nature or some outdoor activities, you can visit the Akiyoshirai Plateau. Next, we'll be traveling to the Shikoku region, and this is the smallest of Japan's four main islands. And here is where you have a full-scale tourist train, that beautiful Shikoku Mannakasenne Monogatari train. And this takes you through the iconic um, Oboke Gorge, where you can see some really beautiful views of the river cutting through the gorge there. They also have some really stunning Obento boxes that they offer on board. Um, so you really get a chance to taste Shikoku's unique flavors and ingredients. While you're in Shikoku region, you definitely want to stop by some iconic places such as Ritsurin Garden, um, where you can see some beautiful Japanese garden scenes. You can also don your pilgrim garb and maybe hike a portion of the Shikoku 88 Temple Pilgrimage. You can also hike inland and traverse through the Ia Valley, see some of those unique vine bridges. Or if you're maybe a little bit more outdoorsy, you can cycle a portion of the Shimanami Kaido, which is a unique um, 34, about 34 mile long uh, bridge that stretches out over the Seto Inland Sea. Um, and you can cycle along that route all the way through and see all of the beautiful islands of the Seto Inland Sea. I've done a portion of it myself and it's really, really fun. Our final stop is going to be Kyushu, all the way down south, where you can find the Yufuin no Mori train. And here you're going to travel from the bustling port city of Hakata, um, all the way to the really relaxing town of Yufuin, which is famous for its natural hot springs. Um, you're definitely going to want to enjoy um, all of those beautiful mountain views. They've got beautiful stylish lounges and seating, and you can also buy some obento on board so you can try some specialty ingredients such as oita wagyu or purchase some local souvenirs or sweets. And while you're in um, Fukuoka, where you, we can find Hakata, you're definitely going to want to try Hakata's iconic yatai food stalls, um, which are definitely a must. And if you find you're there a little bit later than cherry blossom season, don't worry, you can just wander over to the Kawachi Fuji and Wisteria Garden and see some beautiful flowers there as well. Of course, when you get to Yufuin, you're going to want to soak in those hot springs, um, but the town itself is really quaint and really cute. So you're going to want to walk around, see all of the local shops, and really take in the atmosphere. Now, uh, the Japan National Tourism Organization has two offices in the U.S. to serve you, one in Los Angeles, where I'm located, and one in New York City. And you're more than welcome to reach out to us by email anytime that you want uh, to get some more information on traveling in Japan. Or you can follow us on social media uh, to get a little bit more inspiration for your future trips. So thank you for bearing with me. That was a lot of information in a short amount of time, but I hope it was helpful um, and inspirational to you. And I'll hand it back to um, Matsumura-san. Hi, Kei-san, thank you very much. Uh, we got a couple of questions. So would you answer the couple of questions in um, Q&A? Sure. Thank you. Let's see. All right. I think probably further down maybe. <laughs> Okay, so what about entrance to Japan for non-U.S. citizens who are U.S. resident? So we always recommend um, if you are a little bit unsure about your entry requirements as a non-U.S. citizen that you reach out to your local consulate general of Japan. And there are many of them. You can find a whole list on the embassy website um, for Japan uh, with all of their contact details. And they'll have full information for you on if you um, are good to go with your um, entry or if you need a further um, visa application if you're from a country that 
has doesn't have a pre-existing exemption, um, but Japan does have um, exemptions for many, many countries. So a lot of people, um, a lot of travels will be covered under that. So let's see. So, do you still have use that my SOS app? No. No, you don't need to use the My SOS app. That was for the ERFS system. Um, so you're no longer required to use that. That was part of the contact mm -hmm. tracing program. So now you can just uh, go back to pre-COVID-19 exemption. Mm -hmm. And there is another one at the end, Anji Chin Sang. Uh, if a person only have two model of short wood quarantine in Japan be required. So uh, currently the um, exemptions are for um, uh, the three um, shots, so the two shots and the booster, but you can also just obtain a, a negative COVID-19 result. So you don't have to have all the three shots if you um, choose, you know, if you don't, um, you can just do the uh, pre-departure test 72 hours prior um, and just show that negative test result and that will work as well. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you very much, Kay-san.